What's going on, everybody? Welcome in, Dan here. We're going to talk some Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, I know. I had planned on bringing some stuff out, and I totally did not get to it in the past couple of weeks. I am so sorry uh, for anyone that was waiting for me to release something, and I didn't. And I haven't really covered this game as much as I should have this year because I do like it ever since I started playing it. I played it in the beta. I held off on buying it at full price. Janzer gifted me the... Uh, starter edition and I've played it as much as I've had time to but I do plan on getting into it a lot more now into year two here if you will uh, year one is basically over the year one season pass last day for sale is uh, November 30th which is basically now that I'm actually recording this so December 1st you won't be able to purchase that year one pass anymore uh, we are moving into the year two pass so Basically, starting on November 29th, they released the Year 2 Pass. Uh, and you basically get a, a few things out of this. It's, it's, it's pretty nice in terms of what you're going to get. So, in the Year 2 Pass, there is a lot of stuff. You're going to get... We're, we're going to have four new maps across the four different seasons. Um, the maps are generally free, but we're going to have four new maps. Uh, eight new operators across the four seasons. Two operators per season, basically. More or less kind of how they've done it now. Eight exclusive headgears. Eight unique uniforms. A R6 carbon charm. 600 R6 credits. Okay. Now. That's pretty good. Some extra perks that are going to come with the, the year two. Uh, seven day early access, of course, to all the operators that you... If you buy the season pass, 10% um, discount in the game shop. But that's all right. It, it does help out from time to time. 5% um, renown boost to unlock in game content faster. 5% really isn't a whole heck of a lot, but something is better than nothing. And two extra daily challenges. Uh, the VIP membership is available. Uh, VIP membership is available. Until February 2017. No, wait, I'm sorry. Until February 2018 is when the VIP perks will end. So, the seven day access, early access, the 10% discount, the 5% renown, the two extra daily challenges are part of the VIP perks and they will last until February 7th, 2018. You can pick up the uh, year two pass now, PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, I believe. Uh, looking at it, it's uh, $30, I believe, uh, over there, over on Steam. I'd uh, have to take a quick gander, if I remember correctly. Da -da -da -da. The year two... Oh, they have several bundles now, I should say. So, you yeah. know, there's a complete edition, there's a year two gold edition... There's the standard Rainbow Six edition. Uh, yeah, there's there's the bundles. There's the year two pass at $30 uh, if you just buy the extra year two pass itself. So there's a lot of different options available. Um, if you missed out on that original season pass, you can unlock all the eight uh, operators with the new Legacy Operator Bundle. And that, bun that bundle will instantly unlock Buck, Frost, Blackbeard, Valkyrie, uh, Capito, uh, Cavera, Echo, and Hibana. If I said that right, I probably fucked all those up somehow. Uh, you can find that Operator Legacy bundle available now in game for 2400 R6 credits. So you'd have to buy credits to actually get it. Uh, but you get 600 if you're buying the year two, so that's right there. Just saying. Uh, also, just as a nice little perk, uh, they did say that if you own the Season 1 Pass and you purchase the Season 2 Pass before February 7, 2017, you will receive an additional 600 R6 credits on top of the 600 that come with the second year pass. So you'll end up with 1,200 R6 credits, which is pretty good. Very useful for many, many things. Um... But yeah, so we're looking at season-wise, season one will be February, season two will be in May, season three will be starting August, season four will be November, basically, you know, every so many months here, more or less. Sometime between March and April, 
we'll see the first set of operators sometime between June and July. We'll see the second set of new operators sometime between September and October. We'd see the third set of operators at sometime around December to January 2018. We'd see the fourth set of operators uh, available from the year two pass. So there is that. You also can get an exclusive skin, uh, weapon skin, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, if you will, which I believe it is the Obsidian Weapon Skin. So they've got a lot of stuff coming out, and, you know, uh, they're talking about deploying into Spain, Hong Kong, Poland, and South Korea will be the four different seasons uh, with the new countries and maps that we'll get this year coming up. I'm pretty excited about that. The Gold Edition, um, the Complete Edition... So, in terms of the Gold Edition, you would get the Year 2, you get the Year 2 Pass, or I should say you get the original game, you get the Year 2 Pass, uh, you get all the new stuff, it's basically okay, like everything now, but you don't get the Legacy Operator Pack of the Special Operators, you get everything, so you get, okay, you get the base game which included all the operators except for the eight new ones that came out through the season. Uh, so you'd still have to buy that as a legacy bundle if you wanted to buy it as a legacy bundle. Now, with the complete edition, which is currently is $100, uh, you get everything. You get the original game. You get all the eight original uh, add-on operators. You get all the VIP Year 2 perks. You get all the, the eight new operators. You get the headgear, you get the uniforms, you get the exclusive weapon charm, you get the additional content, uh, you get you get it all. Um, so, there is that if you want to spend $100, which is actually, if you haven't purchased the game and you're really into it, or you're really thinking about it, it's not a bad bundle, but you got to really commit yourself to it. Um, you could always wait for it to go on sale. There is always that option as well. So, it's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's there's a lot coming for Season 2. Um, and I do, like I said, I plan on really getting this into the channel, into my YouTube channel, a lot more this year coming up. Um, along with a couple other things, but I definitely am putting this on that list of, you know, main games that I want to be playing a lot more. And I do want to play... Uh, with uh, with everybody in the community, I mean, Lord knows I've got, I don't know, 15, 20 people that are on my Steam account alone that actually play this game, uh, not including the people that are over on my Uplay account uh, as well, so, you know, that's a, that's a small list, but uh, I gotta figure if I get back into it a lot more, maybe I can uh, convince some of you guys to get into it with me. We could grow... Uh, the, the the game a bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we had the GRO back in the day. We had a full size clan in GRO. We used to have to try to kick people out just to add new members in, kind of like we're doing with the with the Warframe clan. Uh, they always had to cycle through players just to keep uh, some room open for other players that want to, to come and join them or actually act. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about with this for now. I'll have the, all the information loaded up on the, the Night Owls Gaming Community Forums uh, under the Rainbow Six area. So if you have any comments, feel free to obviously comment below. Questions, anything I can possibly answer, let me know if you're still listening in and tuning in. Awesome. Anyway, I'll catch you guys soon. Much appreciated. Uh, until the next time. I'll see you later.